You want the best tips on becoming proactive? You're about to get them, and we're getting started right now. We've got a great show lined up for you. What is up, my winning friend? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to reach your potential, crush your goals, and be more effective in all the different roles that you have, Start right now by hitting that round subscribe icon and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. <laughs> if you have any tips on becoming proactive, let us know about it in the comments below. We can't always control what happens to us in life, but there's one thing that we can always control no matter what. Viktor Frankl was a psychiatrist who was imprisoned in the Nazi death camps where he was ungodly tortured and his entire family perished. Every single last one of them died, either in the camp or were sent to the gas ovens. In the midst of the most degrading circumstances imaginable, Frankel used the human endowment of self-awareness to discover a fundamental truth about the nature of man. In between stimulus and response is man's freedom to choose his response. Being proactive means more than merely taking initiative. It means as human beings, we are responsible for our own lives. Our behavior is a function of our decisions, not our conditions. We can subordinate feelings to values. We have the initiative and the responsibility to make things happen. Look at the word responsibility. Response, ability. The ability to choose your response. What kind of shit is that? Highly proactive people recognize that responsibility. They don't blame circumstances, conditions, or conditioning for their behavior. Their behavior is a product of their own conscious choice based on values rather than a product of their condition based on a feeling. Because we are, by nature, proactive, if our lives are a function of conditioning or conditions, it is because we have consciously decided or by default chosen to empower these things to control us. In making such a choice, we become reactive. Reactive people are often affected by their physical environment. If the weather is good, they feel good, and if it isn't, it affects their attitude and performance. You win. I'm done. Proactive people can carry their own weather with them. Whether it rains or shines makes no difference to them. They are value driven, and if their value is to produce good quality work, it isn't a function of whether the weather is conductive to it or not. Reactive people are also affected by their social environment. When people treat them well, they feel well, and when they don't, they become defensive or protective. Reactive people build their emotional lives on the behaviors of others, empowering the weaknesses of other people to control them. The ability to subordinate an impulse to a value is the essence of the proactive person. Reactive people are driven by feelings, circumstances, conditions, and their environment. You ain't got no sugar! Damn! Proactive people are driven by values, carefully thought about, selected, and internalized values. Proactive people are still influenced by external stimuli, physical, social, and psychological, but the response to that stimuli, whether it's conscious or unconscious, is a value-based choice or response. The goddamn bed is blue! As Eleanor Roosevelt observed, no one can hurt you without your consent, and in the words of Gandhi, they cannot take away our self-respect if we do not give it to them. It is our willing permission, our consent to what happens to us that hurts us far more than what happened to us in the first place. I admit that this is very hard to accept emotionally, especially if we've had years and years of explaining our misery in the name of circumstances or another person's behavior. But until a person can honestly say, I am what I am today because of the choices I made yesterday, that person cannot sit here and say, I choose otherwise. Most of the time, it's not what happens to us that hurts us, but it's our response to what happens to us that hurts us. Of course things can hurt us physically and economically, but our character, our basic identity doesn't have to be hurt at all. In fact, our most difficult experiences become the driving force in forging our character and developing those internal powers, giving us the freedom to handle difficult circumstances in the future and inspiring others to do so in the process. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! Viktor Frankl suggests that there are three central values in life. Experiential things that happen to us, creative things that we bring into existence, and attitudinal, our response to difficult situations, such as a terminal illness. The highest of the three values is attitudinal in the reframing sense. 
In other words, what matters the most is how we respond to difficult situations in life. Difficult circumstances often create paradigm shifts, a whole new frame of reference by which they see the world, themselves, other people in it, and what life is asking of them. Their larger perspective reflect the attitudinal values that lift and inspire us all. Become proactive by understanding that you have a choice on your response to any given situation. Take the initiative and act rather than be acted upon and focus your efforts on things that you can do something about. Don't focus on the weaknesses of other people or the problems in the environment or the circumstances over which you have no control. You're a winner. Share this video on Facebook and if you're part of any personal development group you could share it with your friends there. And if you want to learn how to reach your potential, crush your goals and be more effective in all the different roles that you play in life, start right now by hitting that round subscribe icon. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. What's up guys, hope you guys liked that video. So let's talk about Zach real quick, the guy who just made that video for you. Zach is a hell of a guy, all right? I talk to him on the phone from time to time and we vibe, we mastermind and exchange value. This guy is the real deal. If you don't know his story, make sure you go on his channel, check him out. He previously used to be a convict, he used to be a crazy motherfucker and now he's out, he's fucking doing it, he's killing it, he's embodying all these things we talk about on this channel, he's the real deal, he's not one of these fake gurus, that's what I like, I like authentic people, I don't like fake people, he actually is doing what he preaches, he's doing Toastmasters, he's doing the public speaking gigs, alright, you can check him out on his channel, he's fucking killing it, seriously, so, when you stop by his channel, which I know you will, make sure you tell him that the realized man and his realized chicken sent you. Okay, guys? Salute. Till next time.